we're here with the great and powerful Murph. How's your day? It's my pleasure. It's nice to see you guys. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So, um, we had some topics that we were hoping to interview about. Alright. that cool? Sure. Uh, what's the deal with the two pound Murph burger? I mean, rumor has it that if you eat a two pound Murph burger, you gain two pounds? Well, it's actually 2.2 pounds of fried hog, and it's, 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 much, it's much worse for you than like a beef burger. Um, so we don't mess around here. And, you know, if it goes in, you're locked on. 2.2 pounds is yours. Mr. Murphy has been known to use the phrase, I'm in class, but what really does this mean? I'm stands for Atomic Mass Unit. I'm you know, for all my fans out there, I'm 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 what? You know, that's it. Once again, go home, give your parents the AMU, and they should get it right back if they graduate from ninth grade. That's a fact. They will do it. We can try with Ms. Buresh right here, a ninth grade graduate. And if Ms. Buresh, if someone came to you and gave you an AMU, of course you would. Oh, there we go. People in the know, they know. In the hallways, we interviewed a few students on how they felt about Mr. Murphy's teaching. Here's what they had to say. Mr. Murphy is a, he's a, he's a nice guy, you know? I had him for uh, Honors 9, Science. Uh, I would recommend him. I think that he should stay, because he's not that old. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he should stay for at least 20 more years. Well, Mr. Murphy, he's a great guy. I used to hang out with him after class. He's a great guy. So I had Mr. Murphy as a science teacher for my ninth grade class, and you know he was going to be blew up stuff for the first couple weeks. You know it was, it was pretty interesting. Then he gave his homecoming a speech where he asked the girl for homecoming, you know, and he got her. But uh, my friend, he, he he wasn't so lucky. No. So how long would you say Mr. Murphy's been here? Mr. Murphy, uh, you know, I don't know how long he's been here. He's old. He's been here forever, as far as I know. I, not as long as me, but it seems like forever. Uh, so could you tell us something interesting that nobody else would know about Mr. Murphy? He is very economical with his money. Have you seen the car he drives? Um, some people would call it cheap, but he's, he, uh, he's very economical. I guess I will, I'll say it nicely. This is what Mr. Murphy had to say about the gum and juice that he stores in mass quantities in his room. First of all, you're not old enough to uh, a, buy go go juice <laughs> or B, to really understand the essence of it, so we're going to have to pass on that subject. What are the things you have there? Um, how about uh, you're, you're quitting science? I heard at this point a lot of students. Well, I know I would say I'm quitting science, but I am going to do something different for um, this year. I'm going to be um, talking with teachers about becoming better teachers. Uh, and so I'm going to put my energy a little differently. And then there's other excellent science teachers there, so they're not going to miss out on a whole lot, I would say. So, Mr. Haas, how do you feel about Mr. Murphy's retirement from science? Well, it was only a matter of time before he got kicked out. I mean, he might as well retire on his own terms before the Board of Education comes down and fires him. Uh, it's in his best interest to get out before the publicity and uh, before the cops and everybody else gets involved. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing with all that rocket fuel and those farm animals, but, uh, you know, I guess the truth will come out at some point. 